Jail overcrowding, it's an issue facing several Wabash Valley counties. Today, we learn more about the future of the Vermilion County Jail. Demetrius Sanders is live in our newsroom this afternoon. He sat down with Vermilion County Sheriff Mike Phelps. He joins us now with why a major addition and renovations are being planned for the county's jail. Demetrius. Sadie Mike, Vermilion County deputies moved into their current facility in December of 1993. And according to Sheriff Phelps, as the years have passed, they are running out of space and change is needed. Vermilion County Sheriff Mike Phelps says when the current county jail was opened in 1993, it was designed for 34 inmates plus some staff. In 2019, those numbers look much different. We have 71 physical beds. We have uh, two secretaries. We have 12 officers, including myself. Uh, we still have one cook. We, um, we, we've outgrown the place. In March of 2017, Vermilion County Council and Commissioners received a letter of non-compliance from the Department of Corrections Inspector due to overcrowding, their third year in a row. Phelps says the increase in jail population is partially due to the state placing level six felons in jails versus prisons. To help solve the issue of overcrowding, Phelps says a pod-style addition to the current jail has been proposed. The new add-on section would move all of our current inmates over to that new section. So there would be about 100 beds. Phelps says the estimated 20 to $22 million project would also include renovations to the current jail. Plumbing, electrical automation, um, C what an inmate can actually damage when you think they have nothing, it's, uh, it's amazing. In 2017, local income taxes were raised in Vermilion County 0.25% for public safety. And Sheriff Phelps says a portion of that money will be used for the project. Phelps says he understands the burden, but it is necessary. Nobody wants to build a jail. Nobody wants their tax money going for jails. The problem is, is how do you comply with these laws and rules if you don't? Phelps says the jail financial plan must next be approved by Vermilion County Commissioners and the County Council. Sadie. Thank you, Demetrius. Phelps says if things move as expected, renovations could start as early as next summer.